Yeah, complete relaxation. Oh, just hearing those words in the talk was just su such a relief. And that is what is on offer in the Balanced View Training, complete relaxation in every moment, in everyday life, complete relaxation. Nothing can kick us out of complete relaxation. And that is just one of the amazing um, offerings of the Balanced View Training. So being able to be at ease no matter what life throws on us, no matter what data comes up, no matter how many data are swirling around, I mean, they can be endless, ceaseless. We have no control whatsoever how the data is coming up and passing through our mind stream. So the only thing we can really do is just allowing it to be as it is. No need to change anything, no need to have less data. It's not better to have less data, it's not better to have positive data, it's all is the complete equalness and evenness expanse of open intelligence. Open intelligence shining forth equally in all data streams. And that's what we come to see more and more in our direct experience. Then there's just complete relaxation because we don't need to effort anymore to have some certain data in place, some certain circumstances in place or some uh, specific place to be and specific people to be surrounded by, but really we can see complete relaxation shining forth in every moment of our daily life. And yet we can of course discern where we want to be and who we want to relate with, but complete relaxation no matter what comes up in our life, that's the go-to, that's what we can always rely on in our direct experience. Nothing can kick us out and that's what we're just getting familiar more and more, getting uh, it's always been like that, but we may, might be that we were distracted of all the data that were coming up. Maybe there were loads of data and we always describe our, our data streams and then it went unnoticed that something about us is always present, always alert, cognizant. And we can introduce ourselves by just stopping thinking for a moment and recognizing that there's something about us always cognizant, always aware. Here's what we are, what I'm speaking now, of feel, senses. The power to know, always on. And we recognize that in a short moment, by relaxing body and mind completely. Even if our mind is running around wild, we just relax deeply. Nothing needs to change. And there we see, wow, suddenly it opens up a complete um, vast expanse of, of um, tools that we can see more and more clearly how, how we want to be in life that is not limited by all the data streams that are coming up. We are tapping in that vast open intelligence that knows in each moment what will be of most benefit, that knows in each time, place and circumstance what will serve best in that moment. And it's powerful, it's also powerful to get familiar with that power that is innate to us. I definitely know that also from my experience, all the data that I used to always emphasize, especially negative data about myself, and they were so familiar that it felt quite safe to do that. It felt somehow even, yeah, because it was so familiar, I emphasized these data, that it went so fast that I went down these roads again and again. But then now to be introduced to a different way of dealing with my data, it was, in the beginning, a bit unfamiliar there to just stop these old ways of relating to myself and others. But slowly, slowly, just, and actually quite quickly, it just became so natural not to emphasize the data anymore, even if they felt very familiar. More and more I allowed open intelligence to come to the fore and get comfortable with life is really no struggle. It's, I loved how you shared that. It, it's just, there's no struggle when relying on open intelligence. When we take a short moment, even if it feels like everything is just shh, like so much going on, there we take a short moment. Even if it's just for a split second, we recognize there's no struggle. And then maybe it goes off again, the data, but then we, whenever we remember to do so, we rest there and recognize that all is well. Recognize open intelligence at the basis. It's as powerful as that. And of course, we need to get familiar with that as well. If we, used to if we were used to using our mind in a different way, just take some time to get familiar to 
use our mind in a slightly different way, where we can allow everything to be as it is, all data streams that are shining forth, even if criticism, judgments come up. We don't need to follow after those data streams. It's so natural that these things come up, but I could see more and more, wow, if the, the, the tendency to go into these data streams, to blame others, to criticize others, for the data that I have suddenly became really, wow, what can the other person, it's not that his fault that I cannot take responsibility for my data. It just became so clear that I can really take responsibility for my data, even though I might not like what this other person did, but I can take complete responsibility for my, my data and then see from that vantage what will serve best in relation to the other person that might stirred up things for me. But it's always in that wide open heart connection that I, we can see what will be of most benefit that upholds everyone in that circumstance, even ourselves and the other person. We become more and more skillful when we not act on, for example, frustration or anger in a certain circumstance. And I mean, that it's so natural that things come up, especially when we are with many people. I mean, buttons are being pushed, we get maybe slightly annoyed or, you know, things come up so naturally. But if we, if we follow after all our annoyance or criticism, then we are swirled down. Then we cannot see what, what will serve that circumstance. But allowing it to be as it is, this, these data fuel our insights in seeing, okay, what can I, how can I support this circumstance without being caught up in my own hurt or frustration, but rather seeing, okay, what will serve that circumstance? How can I support this to be of benefit? And it's amazing how that shift of the self-focus of all our own data streams of anger and frustration just opens up into skillful means and how we can see what serves that, um, yeah, that situation best. It's amazing. It's just the whole shift of self-focus to what would be of most benefit to all. It just naturally opens up. And that's why we come together here to test it out and to really um, yeah, take responsibility for the data that come up for us using the support system in that of the four mainstays that we can always rely on when, when it gets harder to um, relax. It gets harder to relax in complete relaxation. We can use the complete support structure of the Four Mainstays, the training, the trainer, the community, the audios, everything, the short moments, of course, always available. And we can use it as much as we like. And I could see that that it was really the key to really empower everything about myself, that I'm not blindsided or swirled around by any data stream. Nothing can kick us out of complete relaxation. And if we feel like we're seemingly kicked out, there we take a short moment and we recognize, ah, actually, there it is. We can completely relax. There's nothing that we cannot completely relax with. And that's really beautiful that we get to see that more and more. And that's how we tap into our power to know, to know what serves best in each moment. <laughs>